Okay, so let's talk about iOS 18.2. The latest beta, beta 2 for iOS 18.2, has now been out for nearly a week. And I've been running iOS 18.2 on my primary device, the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And I have to say, I finally, finally feel like iOS is, you know, kind of complete with some of these new Apple Intelligent capabilities and everything that Apple promised. 18.2 just feels like a great software update. I wanna talk about additional features we can expect moving forward. I wanna talk about the next beta and also the official release date because if you watch me here on the channel, you remember I mentioned that Apple plans to release iOS 18.2 in December. Now this is typical for every year. Every year the point two update releases towards the middle of December, but it looks like this year Apple could be changing things and releasing this one sooner rather than later. Keep in mind they want to continue to build upon Apple intelligence and deliver as many features as possible as quickly as possible. So keep in mind that Apple continues to build upon that and iOS 18.2, I have to say the latest beta really feels like this iPhone 16 is now going to be complete, at least for the most part, according to what Apple shared with us at WWDC. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is some of the features we can expect for Apple intelligence. For those of you that haven't been watching, I just wanna give you guys a quick recap. iOS 18.2 will bring Image Playground, a new application on iPhone that allows you to create any image using a description on your device. As you can see right here, I've been playing around with it. I really love what Apple has done with Image Playground and they continue to build upon this with iOS 18.2 Beta 2. Now, Apple also added Genmoji, which is the ability to create any custom emoji using a description. Now, I don't find myself using this feature as much as I thought I would, but it is nice to see and have a custom emoji creation tool on your iPhone for messages. I think many customers are looking forward to that one just because I don't use it every day. It doesn't mean most of you guys won't. You can use a description and basically create any emoji. Awesome new capabilities. Now also, Apple has added additional ChatGPT support for Siri. We also get additional writing tools. We also get visual intelligence, which allows you to use the camera on your iPhone 16 or 16 Pro to identify something and do much more. So you can take a picture of something and Apple Intelligence will give you a search result or a description of what you're looking at. And again, you can do so much more with visual intelligence. I will have an entire video on visual intelligence once it is officially available to the general public. So with that being said, what is missing here so far from Apple Intelligence and some of the additional capabilities we can expect moving forward. Well, the first thing I wanna talk about is Image Playground. As I mentioned, this allows you to create basically any custom image using a description, but there's one option that's still missing. If you remember when Apple announced Image Playground back at WWDC, there was three option. We have the animation, we have the illustration, but we do not have that sketch option that Apple mentioned at WWDC. So moving forward, at least with the next couple of betas, hopefully Apple will add the sketch option for Image Playground on the latest iOS 18.2. So we're still missing that. I haven't really seen many customers complain or even asked about it, but yeah, Apple did offer three different image creation tools and there's only two available. Again, animation, illustration, but we're missing the new sketch option that Apple did mention at WWDC. So keep in mind that we could see that in the near future. Now, something else that we've learned is that Apple is working on something called battery intelligence. And that this feature is set to be launching with 18.2. It was found within a framework on the code of iOS 18.2. Now, according to what we know so far about this feature, it appears that this will be able to determine how long it will take for your iPhone to fully charge. But we're not sure if this is going to be an Apple intelligent feature or if it will be available for all iPhones. I'm really hoping that it is available for all iPhones because I'm sure any iPhone can actually calculate how long it will take to charge from zero to 100 when you plug it in. But Apple is calling it battery intelligence according to the framework found by 9to5Mac in the code of iOS 18.2. And hopefully this will be available again for all iPhones. Not sure when Apple will make this available, but it is here with iOS 18.2. It just hasn't been enabled on Apple intelligence or on Apple devices just yet. Now, something else that I did want to talk about is the official release date for iOS 18.2. Now, as I mentioned before, the 0.2 update typically happens 
towards the middle of December. But as Apple continues to push Apple Intelligence and try to get as many features available to customers as quickly as possible, according to Mark Gurman, Apple Intelligence additional features and capabilities coming with iOS 18.2 should be available on a Monday, December 2nd. That is nearly two weeks ahead of schedule from previous years. Now again, Mark Gurman has accurately predicted the release of previous software updates, iOS 18.1 for example. He mentioned that it will be released on Monday, October the 21st, and it did release on that date. So keep in mind that he does have a good track record, and he mentions that on December 2nd, Apple will most likely release the official software update for iOS 18.2 with additional Apple intelligent capabilities. So with that being said, the next beta, beta 3, will most likely happen this upcoming week on the week of the 11th of November. Now keep in mind that on Monday, November 11th, it is Veterans Day here in the US, and that is a federal holiday as you can see right there. So yeah, keep in mind that we could see it perhaps on Tuesday the 12th or beyond that. If not for sure, we'll see the third beta on the 18th and moving forward, Apple will continue on a weekly release schedule if Mark Gurman's December 2nd prediction is correct. So there you guys have it. That is everything I wanted to share with you guys in regards to release date, additional features and capabilities, and what we can expect for Apple Intelligence moving forward with the release of 18.2. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.